Here in an empty Quest Center where players, coaches, and fans alike enjoyed a day off from games in Omaha to catch NCAA tournament action from across the rest of the country. Sharon Collins said that many of the players enjoyed the day off to sit down and watch some of the upsets themselves. Uh, we just caught a little bit of the Gonzaga and Davidson game, and you know, yesterday we Kent State, and I got close friends on both of those teams. Uh, Jeremy Pargo from Gonzaga, that's my real close friend, and they just lost to Davidson, and uh, you know, I feel sorry for him right now. You know, Chris Singletary yesterday, Kent State was my close friend, so uh, we just you know sit back and watching. You know, it's March, so a lot of things happen that's not supposed to happen, and you know we amazed just like everybody else amazed when you know upsets happen, and you no know, teams win, it's not supposed to win. Uh, Something like that, but yeah, we just taking a day off and you know enjoying it and watching the games. However, it's not all fun and games for the Kansas Jayhawks. Coach Bill Self said today that it was very difficult to maintain a regular sleep schedule and to get in all of the scouting they needed to do on UNLV. Uh, I actually slept pretty good last night. Uh, uh, I probably got seven or eight hours, and and you know, of course, we had to sleep yesterday since we didn't we had to get up at six o'clock the day before so because we played so early but but uh they went back and 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 ate and uh uh took a nap and then at eight o'clock we had a scouting report and and dinner and then they lights out by i think 10 30 so 10 30 or, or 11 last night and then we were able to sleep in pretty good today so you know coaches put a little bit more time in than the players do as far as studying tape but but uh it's pretty much normal routine. And while the Quest Center is eerily quiet right now, over 17,000 basketball fans will fill these seats tomorrow to watch both the Kansas Jayhawks and Kansas State Wildcats. The players today laughed at the question as to who the fans in purple will be cheering for. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, too, it's a tough question. And uh, I want to say probably 50-50. You know, half of them probably rooting for us, half of them probably rooting for the other team. I know for most of the time they're probably rooting against us, you know, and, but uh, at, th at this one I'm pretty sure there's about maybe, you know, some people that want to see us down the future play against each other, you know, down the road in the tournament, and I'm pretty sure they'll be, you know, rooting for us to win this game too. Action tomorrow will start at 3.20 p.m. when the Kansas State Wildcats take on the Wisconsin Badgers. The Jayhawks will follow 30 minutes after that game when they play the UNLV Running Rebels for a chance at a trip to Detroit and their second consecutive Sweet 16 berth. From the Quest Center in Omaha, Nebraska, I'm Kyle West, KUGH TV Sports.